Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna rank every single Pixar film officially, and but this time I'm gonna be including the ones that are that I watched at home. But don't worry, it, it is going to include theatrical releases too. Now let's jump right into it. <sighs> Brave and the Good Dinosaur are just equally awful, and I cannot deny which one is less awful. So, so let's start with Brave. But at least Brave has a story. It's like the story is about like your gender doesn't matter. It's just that dumb. And it seriously just offends people about this. But the mother bear scene is the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. And, but with the good dinosaur, it's just humans and dinosaurs coexisting. What else? There's not much of a story in The Good Dinosaur at all. Okay, so... So they're... I'll, I'll just do the pros in this one. They're both awful. Okay, so let's, do now, let's now do the pros. Brave at least has this amazing moment where, um, where, where Merida shoots an arrow through another arrow. Amazing. But then The Good Dinosaur... It has this really touching moment. This touching moment where um, Arlo and um, Spud talk about how their family died. And that just totally warms my heart. And they're... So yeah, that's all good moments. So Brave and the Good Dinosaur are just easily just the... To combine together. They're just pretty much tied to the worst Pixar movie I've seen. Now all that's done, now we're gonna talk about Cars 3. Yeah, I think I remember Cars 3. It was pretty depressing how Lightning McQueen was now becoming an old car and then he quits his job. No. It totally ruined the franchise, just for that uh, annoying yellow car to take over. It's just that, it's just not that good. It just kind of ruined the whole, ruined the franchise. Even though I like the first one and the second one. I swear. Hmm, Onward was just mediocre. I really, I just didn't like Onward for some reason. Oh, well, maybe it's just because the plot is not that interesting, because it's about fairy tale magic creatures existing, so... And, and the plot's kind of creepy, how the dad turns into, like, half-dad. It's not interesting. Heck, I can even... I can even rewatch some other movies rather than this. Or maybe... It just wants to be a dark Pixar film, because Pixar's tired of making good movies. But not yet. Alright. You may be wondering, The Incredibles 2 was not... It wasn't that good of a film. It's just a pointless sequel, I would say. It's just a sequel that disappoints me enough. That the screen slaver was just the meh. And the superheroes weren't that good. It's just that the family conflicts I hate. Which pretty much angers me about this film. Hey, but at least it's better than Onward. That's what you can't tell. I respect your opinion on this film. Okay. You know... I don't remember Wally, -E, but after all that, I've realized it was just an okay film. Because it has some touching moments, some fun moments sometimes. I've watched it at school, 
You know, I watched it at school about, um, about three years ago. And it was a pretty fun movie. I can recommend watching it again if I want to, but there are some boring parts in it. So, that's all I have to say about WALL-E. Yeah, I just think that Toy Story 3 is kind of the weakest out of the franchise. Yeah, it's pretty dark. All the toys getting trapped. The, the Great Escape. Lotso being the villain. No, 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 don't get me wrong. I still like Toy Story 3, I do enjoy it. It's just that the dark moments that don't work. Well, that, but maybe the first film can be better than it. Okay, Cars 2. Let's talk about this film. I'm gonna take my own criticism on this film for some reason. You know, you may be wondering. I actually like Cars 2. I enjoyed it. But I don't enjoy it much as the first film. But the, the, but the big message in this film is that it's kind of a Mater spin-off, you know? It feels it totally feels like a Mater spin-off. But it's still a sequel. It teaches a lesson about friendship, and that's kind of sweet. And and if she is if you disagree with me on this one, okay. Let's go on to the next one. Hey, I actually reviewed this. This is a movie I like since, since my childhood. I think Cars is kind of the strongest out of the franchise. The first movie. Because of the hotshot Lightning McQueen style. And how Lightning McQueen is a, a good character. And good character built in him. But the rest of the characters can be pretty annoying. And funny at the same time. But I still enjoy it. Because I have, I found enough good stuff to make it semi worthwhile to watch. I can give a rewatch, I guess. Mm, I enjoyed Inside Out. Inside Out was surprisingly not that bad. Um, granted, there's only a few meh sad moments, but but on top of that, Inside Out is still. A good movie. Not only is it heartwarming, but it has something that the movie never did during its production. A professional artist on the animators. How on the animators actually designed those characters really good. And I appreciate the work they did. And the characters are memorable. Especially Fear. He's a funny one. Okay. Yep, A Bug's Life is a pretty surprising movie. I kind of watch it in my childhood, but I still I still enjoy it more than um, Inside Out. Okay, so A Bug's Life is kind of a classic, but it's it's not it's not as good as other it's not as good as Ratatouille, but I still enjoy it. There are some funny characters and funny moments of them, but I still enjoy it. That's, uh, that's all I had to say from a bug side. So, you know, I find Monsters University to be a good movie, and I don't understand why people don't like it. It's just a fun movie. It's harmless. I just enjoy Monsters University as, as any other person can. Because Monsters University has funny moments, and they can sometimes bring out good laughs. But with the animation though, I do have a problem with the animation. It's kind of this like, little boring Princeton campus like type of theme. Okay, remember when I talked about Brave in the previous one? Not way previous back then. Okay, so I talked about Brave. And a Scotland, Scotland viewing experience. The viewing in Scotland, right, the sunrise is a pretty rewatchable scene. 
But with Monsters University, it's kind of not compared to it. But it's still better than Brave, I guess. Mm-hmm. Up is... Up is depressing. And it's still... Up is depressing, and it's heartwarming. Mostly heartwarming. A little bit depressing. I enjoy Up. I have I have seen the whole movie uh, at home, but I um, pretty much don't remember up that a little bit. Yeah, there's nothing much to say. There's nothing much to say about up here. You know, Toy Story. You know, Toy Story might be a little bit overrated. Okay, I get it. The animation kind of looks pretty pretty good on that these characters, but it does seem about a bit outdated. It can have some creepy moments, but it's a fun movie. I can have a rewatch and a rewatch and a rewatch. I can enjoy I can enjoy it as much as I can. I can't say it's the best movie I've seen. I could say it's pretty good. Okay. Finding Dory was just charming. Yeah, it was pretty charming. A lot of charming moments, some fun, emotional ones. Especially Hank, he's the funniest character right over here. And with the rest of the characters, I pretty much remember them. Okay, so then... There's this funny moment where the octopus drives a truck. And then lands it on the ocean. True cinema- true funny- funny thing about the film. So I pretty much enjoy Finding Dory because it's charming. It's the best way to describe it is just charming. Okay, before I literally talk to talk about Toy Story 4, let me give you a little. Can I tell you a little bit of something? If you're gonna disagree with my opinion, if or if you're gonna bully me about this, please. Respect my opinion. I I beg you, please respect my opinion on this movie, and I'll respect yours. Okay, so Toy Story. Now I'm gonna go to Toy Story 4. Toy Story 4 was enjoyable. A lot of emotional moments in this one. Lots of funny moments of Forky. Forky's a pretty funny character. I still do enjoy the movie. I may have given it an 8 out of 10 before, now I give it a 7 out of 10, since it went down a little bit, because of Woody. Woody's kinda racist, and I pretty much didn't like Woody, but the rest of the characters were better than him. Okay. You know, Soul was just charming. It's a fun movie. I've seen it. Well, Soul's pretty pretty exciting to watch. It's a pretty engaging movie. And I and I find a lot of charming moments in this film. And I find a lot of good moments in this movie. And that uh, and there's a little short called uh, called 22 versus Earth, which is a little bit a little bit worse in the movie, yeah. And but but on top but on top of the um, but on top of that, Soul is enjoyable. That's all I had to say about it. Toy Story Two literally cracks me up. It's just kind of the strongest movie out of the franchise, and it can have funny moments. But I can at least say that Toy Story is the funniest one I've seen. And then... We've... Okay, we've got the characters. They're pretty memorable, and... Especially Woody. He's the funny one, but not in Toy Story 2 or Toy Story 3. Toy Story 2 makes me... Makes me feel happy inside. Doesn't it? Finding Nemo is such a 
such a wonderful movie, it's truly captivating. With that said, I love this movie. I am obsessed with it. Every single character is funny. And, okay, so especially Dory, she's pretty funny. And, and the whole thing about it is that it, can, it says one of the year's best films. And, and Finding Nemo is a good, enjoyable, entertaining film. I really enjoy it as much as all the other Pixar films because I love Pixar. I've reviewed this movie, so a lot of characters are funny, a hundred percent of them, even Roz. Monsters, Inc., it's pretty funny, comedy at Monsters Work movie. Mhm. Mm it just makes me laugh every time I see Mike. You and me and together. Yeah, he's the funniest character. Yeah, I already reviewed this, so let's go. Remember me, oh I have to say goodbye, remember me. Man, I love Coco. Not only is it charming, but it has a good twist villain in it. It has a lot of touching moments and, and some sad moments which make me cry in a good way. I just really, really enjoy Coco. It just makes me cry and just makes me cry in heaven. It's so happy to watch. Man, I love The Incredibles now. It's an awesome movie filled with super family in it. It's a mixture of super family with Frozone and all the other people in The Incredibles. And Anna is a cinematic icon. She, the Incredibles are the main mascot of the movie. And it has some awesome action scenes, which I want to watch over and over and over and over again. This is why The Incredibles is so good, because it's funny. Funnier than Finding Nemo, I guess. You know... I'm surprised how much of a miracle this movie is. Not only is it funny, not only- Okay, so, not only is the animation really good on the characters, and not only are the characters mem memorable, but it's just that the story intrigues me so much. Ratatouille is an amazing animated movie. It's just one of my favorite movies of all time. Better than the Angry Birds movie, too. Man, I would love to watch that movie one day. Maybe I'm gonna rewatch it. And plus, I'm gonna rewatch it on June 29th, 2022. The day that its 15th anniversary comes. I'm surprised how much of a masterpiece Ratatouille truly is. Nothing can beat a masterpiece of an animated movie. Nothing except Luca, baby! <laughs> Luca's really funny. It's a masterpiece. I've enjoyed Luca better than Ratatouille. It's just the best. It's just the- it's just the emotional movie. It's a classic. It's an underrated movie. It's Pixar's best works. And you know what caught up unto me? And you know what Pixar's- This is Pixar's latest film, and they've done a pretty good job on it. This is the movie that kinda really caught up onto me. Thought that maybe that animated movies aren't so bad after all. But this is really good. But Shark Tale and uh, Shrek 2 is better. Luca is so good, and I do enjoy it. Okay, so, so Pixar's films are just the best. I just love them. And now I'm gonna show the ratings on the comments below my Pixar ranking. So, 
Goodbye. See you later.